Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be part one of me modding my WoWGo 2S electric skateboard. Now you might say, well, why do you want to mod it? Well, because I want to push as much, you know, performance out of it as possible. Even though it's already good, the torque is pretty good, everything is good. However, for me, the braking is lacking. I really want strong brakes. I love strong brakes. So, you know, and looking at the Meepo with that little fourth mode in it, uh, to give it that extra torque and like just get quick, it's just quicker response. Well, not a quicker response, but it's just a faster at the takeoff. And it's all programmable. I mean, they're all using the same configuration, except the ESCs are programmable. So I did try to play with the WoWGo 2S ESC, and I did find a manufacturer that creates them, but they wouldn't give me any data. And I just kept pushing until I just gave up. So I said, you know what, we're just going to go with some VESCs. And I looked around and what I found, what seems to be good, I have no idea, are these Maytech branded VESCs. They're claiming that they're using the proper original hardware layout and um, they seem pretty good. I mean, uh, that's all I could really say. So taking them apart, once I received them, I actually had wanted to check the capacitors that are on board. And uh, it's just a big telltale sign if they're using quality components or they know what they're doing. So they're using Rubicon low ASR capacitors, which are very good low ASR capacitors, ZLH model. And uh, I really like seeing this. They give you three fat low ASR capacitors on each of them. Now on the WoWGo 2S, you have two motors. And the current ESC has, it's built for two motors. And uh, here we're gonna have to get a separate ESC for each motor. But you can't just get these separate. You also need the CAN bus connector, which is kind of like a JSC connector. It's like a, uh, 3S LiPo JSD connector in a way. I think that's what it is really, but they're calling it the CAN bus connector for the VESC which connects them together so we can connect our receiver and control them at the same time synchronously. Now the, what's so cool about these is they're highly programmable and to interface with them they have a USB port, which is super awesome. It is going to be kind of annoying that every time I want to reconfigure it, I have to take it apart. But there's also Bluetooth uh, functionality. So we can probably do some kind of a, a Bluetooth overcom or, or you know, Wi-Fi overcom, a virtual com port. So uh, I'll have all this stuff documented. But these look very promising. And uh, if they're not, they're just going to blow up right away. So uh, that's something to take note of. Uh, another thing what's so cool about these is these uh, work with both types of motors, censored and uh, not censored motors. And currently, I think we are using censored motors on the WoWGo 2S. I haven't really dug into it just yet, but we're going to be doing all that together. And uh, overall, this is going to be pretty fun, pretty interesting. I want to squeeze as much configurations out of it or performance out of it. And just I want it to be highly configurable. And, you know, you have so many applications that connect with this. We could just put a, a Bluetooth adapter, monitor everything, amp, current, speed, everything. It's just super awesome. Like, I just really cannot wait to get started. However, you might say, okay, well, why did you get a new remote here? Well, I picked up a new remote because I'm afraid and I don't know if I'm able to remove the WoWGo 2S remote uh, from the ESC. Now, I don't know if it's built in. I haven't really checked into it either. I don't know if it's built in or separate, but just in case, I went ahead and picked up a separate remote. And I think this works on 2.4 gigahertz. Yes, 2.4 gigahertz, not Bluetooth. So uh, these will just basically connect like with one of these right here. And then we have them synchronized. I think you could synchronize, you say, master and a slave. I'm not sure. I haven't really went into this configuration just yet, but it just has a very nice GUI. And um, you can connect to them via your phone, and it's just super cool. So I really can't wait to get started. Uh, what I'm looking forward to get is a bit more torque. Well, I want to do more than one configuration. I want to do an endurance configuration, which is just very, uh, just power saving configuration, which gives me a lot of range. Or if I'm on 50% battery life and I want a little bit extra range, I can just tune it down to just be easy on the current draw. And um, what I really want is that extra torque and I want that braking power. The braking power is what I am looking for because the WoWGo 2S's braking is pretty good. But I've had a couple close calls with people because, you know, I ride on bike trails here in Europe and... Um, you just people pop out left and right and I just want to be able just to stop so uh, I'm able to take the stop on these uh, skateboards a lot harsher so that's what I really want to do and um, yeah it's gonna be pretty fun pretty interesting I'm curious what you guys think uh, like I said there isn't really much out there I mean it's pretty vague and um, no one's really modding their, their electric skateboards that much they're just doing DIY stuff and obviously we'll be doing a DIY, DIY build as well but I really wanted these because this also allows my board to be 
future proof in a way what how, well, how, how does that make it future proof well there's going to be newer motors that come out obviously different kvs different uh just different everything censored non-censored and the current esc i don't know if it's currently set up or tuned to that specific motor that is currently running on the wild go 2s and uh, obviously i'll figure that out soon enough once new motors start to come out but this is going to make it uh, highly programmable, configurable, and I just want to tune the living shit out of it, which is I'm um, so excited about. And I'll do I'll detail all the build process like I do with all my drones and everything. And I'll figure out a way to test ESCs for electric skateboards. I'll build up a setup. And uh, soon as time goes on, we'll, we'll start getting to it step by step and seeing how all this does. But uh, currently, I'm very satisfied with just looking at this right now. And um, that's all I could really say until we go ahead and build it and set it up and mod it and start playing with it. I just hope I don't kill anyone with the board just uh, going off somewhere. And, and yeah, so this is going to be pretty fun and pretty interesting. And I have no idea what to expect. And that's it, guys. So that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's something different, but I really want to kind of get into this slowly into this whole uh, electric skateboard modding and just playing with the components in there because um, it's pretty fun, it's pretty basic, it's a lot easier than our quadcopter so uh, there's just going to be a lot of awesome things we could probably learn and figure out from this so um, that's it guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I uh, will see you next time, see you guys, take care.